Lehua, he's got his sights set on the power tower. And wife Catherine and children Anne and Tang cheering him on the whole way. If you ever got disqualified, would you be angry the next year you want to totally redeem yourself? Well, I've never been disqualified before. I actually got to, I don't have a temper at all, so we'll see how he goes. He's got an incredible story. Born on a refugee boat on his way to Australia from Vietnam. Look at he's straight he's in. Going this back is with vengeance. Here he goes on the big dip at a rope. This guy's got the goods. Back him in, ladies and gentlemen, because he is a supreme athlete. Now, here is the Cyclone Spinner. This obstacle has been a graveyard for some talented ninjas over the last two nights. Have a look at him now. He's really crouching, and his centre of gravity is good. His hips aren't flat to the disc. Come on, Lay. He's flying through the course. Oh. He's OK. Now, A or B, which way will he go? Catherine saying go A. Lay taking her advice. These are the known obstacles. After what happened last year, Lay is not in the mood to take any risks. He knows these obstacles and he's trained for them. It doesn't make them easier because these obstacles are tough. The pegboard and the bar hop. Up he goes to the rope, making the transfer to the first pegboard. I reckon we're seeing something very special right here. Yep, me too. Well, you've got a front row seat. He moves to the first peg. A little misjudgment there, but he's not panicking. He doesn't need to panic. His movement's so fluid. Look at him up there. Almost comfortable. Now he's got to get the board moving, get enough momentum. Now for the transfer. This is pretty to watch. Come on, Lay. Oh, isn't it, Ben? Look how strong he is. Getting that momentum from the hips, working it. What's he going to do? Is he going to go from here? Surely not. Lay. Hey. Easy. The bar hops next. Rafael Wiggett made it this far. Can Lay go a bit better? Up he goes. He's got great form so far. Look how looking... quickly he made that transition. This is difficult because what happens, the bar moves in its little slot. Yep. So it makes it extremely difficult. See that? So they've got to try and control it. Oh. One of our toughest obstacles. Lay must be hurting, but he's powering through. He's only got two more moves, and Lay... Gets a crack at the warped wall. Come on, Lay. We want you up the oh, warped wall. Oh, yes. Yes, Lay. He knows he's always there, Ben. He'll make it from here. Surely he just needs to hold it together. After all the disappointment of last year, Lay Hua is about to get a crack at yes, the Ninja Lay. Warrior oh, warped wall. He's not even stopping. Here he goes. Lay up the warped wall. Yes. yes. Lay. yes. He legitimately Lay. touched the red and he's done it. <laughs> the first ninja up the wall tonight. You are into the semi-finals, Lay. Wow! And there he is, Ashlyn Herbert. Can he knock Daniel Mason out of second place? And there's his girlfriend, Sarah Blackmore. She splashed out earlier tonight. He is an absolute superstar, but he can make the occasional error. All he's thinking about right now is making up for last year. Now, Nick... I hope you've got your running shoes on because we're going to need them. Flashlin Ashlyn Herbert has entered the building. Here he goes. 2.26 will put him ahead of Dan Mason and on the power tower. Good start. And don't blink because you'll miss it. This guy is so fast. Yeah, we don't just call him Flashlin because it rhymes with Ashlyn. It's because of his pace. He just moves so quickly through the course. He's an absolute jet. He has been known in the past, though, to go a little bit quick and make a misstep and fall when he shouldn't have fallen. But he is a supreme athlete, make no mistake. Here he goes on the cyclone spinner. Look at his form. Yeah, this will be the slowest obstacle for Ashland, only because he can't make it go any faster. He hangs on. Yeah. Where's he going, A or B? He'll probably go... No, we're going B for sure, 100%. Yeah, well, she wants him to go B. B it is. B! Brand new obstacles, lane B. He knows he has to beat Daniel Mason's time, and path B is the way to do it. Right now, Ashlyn Herbert's about four seconds slower than Lehua, but more importantly, he's seven seconds faster than Daniel Mason. One thing about Flashland Ashland Herbert is not only his speed, it's his strength in the up. Oh, a little bit of a miss a there. Touch and go. Amazing save. And he just keeps rolling through the obstacle like nothing happened. He is so strong in the upper body. He's bolting through the course, Beck. Ashland Herbert, we're seeing something special here. 
Oh, look at this. All he has to do now is fly to safety, and he does. This is the fastest run we've seen tonight. Lay's top spot could be in danger. And he is on the beehive 30 seconds ahead of Daniel Mason, but this is the obstacle where it could all go terribly wrong. He cannot afford to lose focus on this one. Onto the first honeycomb. Gets the legs kicking. Those legs are getting mucked up in the rope a little bit, but now he's clear. Oh, what about that? He spun in one motion. Piers looking at clocking oh. up the fastest time of the night. Flashland, Ashland Herbert, here you go. Here he comes, Ashland Herbert, straight up oh. that wall. Oh. Flashland, Ashland, books his spot on the power tower. Flashland, that. What did I just witness? Our next contestant is a ninja veteran. She was a semi-finalist in seasons one, two and three. And looking to make amends for splashing out in the heats last year. It is former gymnast Celeste Dixon, loudly and proudly supported by Mum Leanne, brother Roderick, and the bacon man himself, Dad Stephen. There he is with his famous catch cry of bring home the bacon. Sizzle, sizzle, bacon on the griddle. Hey, that is next level. Yeah, it's hectic. He's literally in a, in a bacon suit. <laughs> yes, he is. Here's Celeste Dixon taking on obstacle number one. Will she make it through to the heats this year? Oh, let's hope she doesn't fry. She <laughs> survives her first big test. Big dip in her rope time now. Celeste needs to be careful. These early obstacles have brought many ninjas unstuck. Come on, Celeste. You can hear Dad on the sidelines. Lift it up Again. And down. Come on, Celeste. Look at her face. Push, oh, push. she goes. Come on, the rope. Yeah! Bring home the bacon, he says. She's trying, Dad. She's trying. He's revving up the crowd, getting them behind his little girl. She's on the cyclone spinner, getting her hands exactly where she needs them and wants them a good grip. Absolutely crucial. Here she goes. OK. One. Two. She's used to it. She just focuses it on the task at hand, and she's chosen path A, and that is the known obstacles for Celeste. And she's been on the pegboard before. She's not just been on this obstacle before, she's beaten it. That'll give her confidence. No pleasure, Cruz! <laughs> this will be a real test of upper body strength, the pegboard. Celeste has the upper body strength in spades. She looks so strong this year. Here she goes. Look at, at her the back. back muscles. You're looking at exactly the same thing as me. Wow. Look at that. It's like she's got a 10 pack on her back. She has. You got it, Celeste. Oh, look at this. Okay. You got it. This now is just Take raw determination, grit, strength. Look at the technique here using the rope between her legs to assist yes. while grabbing the pegs. That lets her conserve energy. It's okay, she's recovered. Now it's all about the hands, all about the swing. Oh, this is tough. Her. She's rock solid. She is fitter than she's ever been. And that's saying something, because she is one fit competitor. Here she goes on the second pegboard now. Getting ready for the dismount. Does it. And listen to Dad. Bring home the bacon! Okay, big deep breath. This is the last obstacle before the warped wall. She is tougher than woodpecker lips. Now, she hasn't hit a buzzer since series two. Sizzle, sizzle! Bacon's on the griddle! I've found Nick Kyrgios a new coach. I'm not hiring. <laughs> Only the second female to reach obstacle five tonight after Raffaella Wiggett. But remember, the bar hop is the obstacle that tripped her up last season. Up she goes onto the first bar. Yes! Dad's happy with that. She's got a few more to go. Changing her grip to the mixed grip now. As she swings, gets the momentum, makes the transfer. Perfect stuff, Ben. Now she'll reach out to the fixed bar or swing to the fixed bar. And then she's got two more moves to go. This is her moment. Holding my breath, holding my breath. Yeah! Yeah, she lands it. This is her test. She's halfway, Ben. But the upper body will be burning. Here, whoa, she's just kicked the bar there in front of her. Luckily, it stays on. 
Here comes Celeste. Can she make this transfer? Yeah. Oh. No. Her face might have said yes, but her arm said That's no. Right. Oh. That's my girl. That's gold, Celeste. After screaming, bring home the bacon, Dad just said, that's my girl. And that's a proud dad. Fantastic stuff.